Hello, Pastor Presidents. My name. I'm so excited to come your way today. So, in life, we bear burdens and become successful. Okay. So, in other words, um, you gain a skill, and with the skill, you um, solve problem. And when you solve problem, you earn. And once you earn, you you know you begin to grow, and that's how life just goes. Okay. So, in other words, what you necessarily need to do is to have the right team with you. So they can be the right body and then of course you guys can grow together that's how life just works so life has challenges you learn how to provide the solution and when you provide the solution you end and then you go that's how it just works so uh, when you're choosing a spouse when you're choosing a teammate when you're employing staffs and all that you necessarily need to have them you know meet a certain requirement so they'll be leveraged on to solve a problem as against being a body to cause more problem that's very essential okay so a lot of time we have people who know how to feel your pain but you cannot really uh, leverage on them to solve problems so in other words they cannot alleviate your suffering they are adding more pain to you and truly sometimes they can genuinely feel your pain but they are mentally weak so they cannot really offer anything to the blog so in such a way that you know you can partner with them to solve problems so that becomes real big problems with life okay so you seem to you know have a lot of people around you and then once they are not skillful right once they are not very skillful right they cannot be leveraged on to produce more results they cannot be effective rather they become a body to you and then it brings you a lot of pain it brings you a lot of challenges and sometimes they really you know cannot help genuinely cannot help they feel your pain you know but feeling your pain is not good enough right you, you need someone who can you know bring something to the board in such a way that we can solve a lot of problem so when people refuse to expose themselves to the right information they definitely will be deficient of certain quality that they would have used right to you know work with life and produce result in tours they always will learn from experience or from their challenges right and, and a lot of time it, it bothers me when i find a lot of people who genuinely want to become the best okay but they lack the quality to become the best and they are not willing to learn to stretch their mind to explore to you know research right so they can have that quality that they can offer to life rather they're complaining they're nagging whining you know putting blame on people or seeing people as their problem as again standing strong taking responsibilities right and then solving problems that's something that we really get to find in life a lot of time okay right so you must learn to not be mentally weak you have to be strong in your mind you have to see yourself as the best you have to learn as you learn you must commit those teachings to principles that you must stick to right so you can begin to form new characters of excellence so you can produce much more out of life glory to god hallelujah you know listen and listen very well do you know that what you are spending one week to do somebody who is smart could spend one or two days to do the same thing right you think that he has more time right but he, he just knows more because the more you know the more time you save right i'll tell you the truth okay the better you know the more time you save and then the more you can offer to life in a very excellent way so add skill to your life add skill to your life keep learning keep getting smarter observe people who know better and then learn from them so you can become a leverage i tell you the truth if you are a burden bearer you will always be needed you will always be celebrated and then of course you are a person of worth but if you're one who just cast burden okay because you are you are clueless you are ignorant you know you don't know so many stuff but you are existing then you'll be causing a lot of pain a lot of problem do you know that every blessed day that you live right you are born in resources every blessed day i'll tell you think about the fact that for every day that you live in that house there's a part of the rentage that you have spent for every blessed day you got to spend money to eat you got to spend money to feed that clothes you're going to wear dry cleaner is going to take some money from it or whatever you're going to spend to buy soap to wash it so whether you do something or you don't do anything on a daily basis you have spent on that day maybe the car park will take some money as well so that means you have to spend every day 
investing in yourself for profit or trading the investment on yourself for profit or investing from what you have traded for profit otherwise you'll be living at other people's expense and that will mean that you are a body that will mean that you are a pest that will mean that you are not adding value to life now this is not to put you in any kind of pressure but this is just to make you become responsible and then work hard in your life refuse to be idle refuse to waste time and waste days right think deeply think smartly educate yourself right add the right knowledge in yourself so you can become a blessing to anyone that meets you or you're joined to whether in uh as a teammate or as a colleague or as a spouse whatever it is so you will be a great blessing to their life and as well it's important that you know that even when you know you can know better so you can add more value to yourself so you can be one who helps right and not one who brings more pain to people growing God. this is very important so learn to be a burden bearer by becoming someone of work keep learning keep growing keep becoming better exercise your mind expose yourself to better places you know right if you check everybody's phone everyone is using their phone but what do you research what do you read what do you study who do you who mentors you who, who are you learning from right what are you becoming on a daily basis all right are the principles of your life right upgrading are you learning better things are you becoming smarter are you becoming wiser are you becoming more godly are you becoming more patient are you becoming a person of capacity right all of these questions you need to ask yourself sincerely and ensure that you are advancing in your life otherwise right when you are done you regret all the days and all the times that you spend right of course it's important that you understand right that there are many spam cells released on your mom and you were just a lucky one to come to life right all others got wasted right think about the fact that if god will pick the other ones right and say hey you never got the opportunity to leave and this one who got the opportunity to leave look how he lived this life how will you feel so make sure that your life count david will say something i like to quote it he says teach us to live our life that we may apply our days to wisdom right you need to apply every single day to wisdom live very excellently on a daily basis live a principled life don't just live the way you feel the way you like or the way you have been living that's not been yielding so much out of life this is a great counsel to someone and i hope that it blesses you thank you and god bless you